Don't waste your hard-earned money on these crochet gadgets. Hi friends, I'm Elise from the blog LePetitSaintCrochet.com. I went online and purchased nine different crochet gadgets and to my surprise, five of them were total flops and some of these have really good reviews and I'm scratching my head wondering how in the world do these items have great reviews and I'm going to go through each one of the flops first and then we'll talk about the four crochet gadgets that I think are worth every penny. The first crochet gadget flop is the Prim Big Sully. Now I had high hopes for this crochet gadget. It comes with a lot of different bells and whistles and is very unique in its design. The point of the Big Sully is to keep two skeins of yarn separate if you are doing crocheted or knitted color work. There's a little plastic tray that goes inside that separates the two yarns from each other. There are also six different yarn channels to feed your yarn through. You can also use it for just one skein of yarn for smooth feeding like a yarn bowl. And there are a couple of accessories that come with the Big Sully, which are the needle and hook gauge that's on the top here. And it also comes with a gauge swatch. Here are the pros about the Big Sully. It does come with a very nice non-slip base. It's kind of a rubbery texture. And what's nice is this thing isn't going to move around. It's going to stay in place. Another feature that I do like is that you're able to lift the top up so that if you are feeding yarn through for your crochet or knitting project, you can easily remove the yarn while still having it attached to your project. Another thing that I do like about the Big Sully is that because it has a lid, it protects it from pets. I have a little cat who loves to get into my yarn and when he sees it moving around, that really makes him excited and he goes for it. So it will protect your yarn from children or pets or anything else that could get in your yarn when you're working on it. But now let's talk about the cons. As somebody who does a lot of knitted and crocheted color work, I find that this is really unnecessary. When I'm doing color work, I just put my yarn in two different spots. I do a lot of color work and I don't feel like something like this is totally necessary to keep your yarn separated. I think there are easier ways to do it than to put it in this little contraption. Another thing that I don't like about the Big Sully is that it's fairly bulky. Another thing to note is that it will not hold yarn that is over five ounces. If you tried to put a seven ounce skein like the Premier Basics in here, it's not going to fit. So it will only hold smaller skeins of yarn. Another thing to note is that if your yarn doesn't have a hole in it like a skein or a cake, you're going to need to cake up your yarn. You can't stick a ball of yarn in here. You actually are going to have to cake it up before being able to use this. And the final negative is that it is $33.99. And I actually think that's pretty expensive for basically a yarn bowl. There's not anything wrong with the Big Sully. It actually does what it says it is supposed to do, which is to keep the yarn on the little spindle and you can put more than one skein of yarn on it if you're doing color work. And yes, it does do that function, but this feels extremely unnecessary. I do a lot of color work, a lot of crocheting and knitting, and I can't see ever needing this. I already have a needle and gauge swatch. I also have a ruler, and I also have yarn bowls that I don't really even use that often. So I find that this is really an unnecessary crochet gadget. I'm giving the Prim Big Sully two stars. Let's take a moment to talk about today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform for creative minded people. They have thousands of amazing classes in different areas like knitting, crocheting, photography, painting, and more. What's great is that Skillshare classes are all online. You can learn from the comforts of your home and they are all ad free. One of my favorites is Modern Crochet Essentials for Getting Started by Tony Lipsy from TL Yarn Crafts. This is a fantastic fantastic class for total crochet beginners. But it's also great for those of us who want to polish our existing crochet skills. This class contains 14 different lessons that will help you to feel more confident when crocheting. One of my favorite lessons is about blocking and aftercare. I get so many questions about this topic and Tony walks you through exactly how to block your crochet items, but more importantly, why you need to do it. 
And what's even better is that the first thousand people to click the link in the description box below will get a one month free trial to Skillshare. But make sure to check out all of the other crocheting and knitting classes as well. There is something for everyone. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. The next crochet gadget flop is the thread cutters. I was actually really excited about this one because I saw that it was featured on Shark Tank and that's one of my favorite TV shows. The purpose of the thread cutters is to be able to wear it on your hand so you always know where your cutting instrument is. Here are some of the pros. One of the best features of the thread cutters is that it is very safe. It's unlikely that you're ever going to hurt yourself or anybody else with this little cutting tool. The other pro is that it's really small and it's not going to take up a lot of room. Also, you're probably not going to lose it since it's on your hand. The other benefit is that it is double-sided so you can cut from either side. Now here are the negatives. I find that the thread cutter is actually pretty large and I'm able to put it on my finger, but the problem is that the Velcro actually wraps around and it is sticking out over here. So my other finger is constantly feeling this little flap right here. And that really kind of drives me nuts, especially when I'm crocheting or knitting. The other negative is that this is $12 and this is basically just a little plastic piece with some Velcro and a couple of little cutters on the side. So honestly, I thought that was actually pretty expensive for what it is. The thread cutter definitely does the job that it's intended to do, and that is to cut yarn or thread. But I actually think that this would be better suited for people maybe who are doing embroidery work or you're doing cross stitch or other types of crafts. And I don't find that this would be very beneficial for me to use as a crocheter or a knitter. I also think it's just a gadget. Most of us already have scissors and I keep mine on a little fob so that I always know where they are. And this one just actually kind of feels rough and scratchy on my hand, so I don't like it. It's just unnecessary in my opinion. I'm giving thread cutters three stars. The next crochet gadget flop are the Susan Bates crochet hook cushion grips. Susan Bates crochet hooks are very popular with crocheters, but they do have one big negative and that's the slender metal handle. The cushion grips promise to ease hand strain by providing a textured sponge handle. The positive is that it only costs $5.98 for a pack of two and one holds a smaller size crochet hook and the other holds larger size crochet hooks. The negatives is that I actually don't like the way these feel at all. And that definitely is a personal opinion. Other people might actually really like them, but this to me does not feel super great. And also my crochet hook isn't super solid in here. It just is slipping in and out so easily. Now I'm not a huge fan of Susan Bates crochet hooks, but I know many people who are. I recently discovered the Chunky Boy craft handle that I think would make an excellent alternative to this. Someone recommended this craft handle to me on Instagram and when I saw it I was really intrigued. It's made of silicone and it looks like it will feel so nice and squishy. People are raving about it. The only negative about the Chunky Boy craft handle is that it seems to be selling out as soon as she stocks her shop. The last time she had them up for sale they sold in 15 minutes so I think the best option if you want to get this craft handle would be to get on the email list and I will leave a link for the Chunky Boy craft handle in the description box below. Below. I give the Susan Bates crochet hook cushion grips one and a half stars. The next crochet gadget flop is the Oli Craft Double Revolving Yarn Holder. This crochet gadget allows us crocheters and knitters to manage multiple colors and skeins of yarn all at the same time. Here are the positives. It's made with quality wood and it's also very easy to assemble. The negative is that the little rubber stopper on the end, just like that, falls off so easily. So as I was pulling the yarn, like so, this kept falling out and it just made it unusable. And now this is somehow stuck. <laughs> The yarn is stuck here. Oh, there it went. Oh, it's getting wrapped up around the wooden dowel in between. It's just kind of catching, not my favorite. The yarn just doesn't work well on this. It's supposed to hold four different skeins of yarn and these are actually quite small. So if you had anything larger, it wouldn't work. So I guess you could put a larger skein on top and one on the bottom. Also, I do feel like it's completely unnecessary. Just like with the Big Sully, it promises to manage multiple skeins of yarn. I just find as someone who does a lot of color work that this really is unnecessary. 
It's cute. It's nicely made. I give the Oli Craft Double Revolving Yarn Holder two stars. Y'all are about to see a side of me that I rarely ever show in public, and that is my temper, because this last crochet gadget flop really makes my blood boil. This is the lighted crochet hook set, and basically it is a crochet hook that lights up. Seems like a good idea, right? Especially if you're using dark yarn. The lighted crochet hook set comes with nine different crochet hook heads in sizes 2.5 millimeter up to 6.5 millimeter. It also comes with a rechargeable battery with a USB port. It also comes with two different brightness levels, high, and low. Here are the positives. The light is rechargeable and that's a good thing. The cost is $19.54 for nine interchangeable crochet hook heads. That's the end of the positives. Let's get into the negatives now. This is one of the cheapest crochet hooks I have ever put my hands on ever in my entire life. And while it says that it is a lighted crochet hook, it's not a good one. This is supposed to be a lighted crochet hook and yes, it is lit up, but it actually didn't help me to see any better when I was using dark colored yarn. I have a neck light that works perfectly where I can really see my project, I can see everything. This has a very minuscule bit of light that shines not even around, it's just in that one little spot, and I found that it didn't help at all. The other part that I super dislike about this crochet hook is this head is super narrow, and look, it bends. This is going to break. I promise if you are crocheting anything, this is going to break. I, I can't see that this is going to last for any amount of time. It angers me because I feel like they're trying to solve a problem for crocheters by making a super cheap product, putting it out there, and hoping that we're going to like it. This, this one actually makes me angry because I feel like they're taking advantage of crocheters and it just makes me angry. It is so cheap, it's so flimsy, and it is not easy even worth $19. My advice would be to use the crochet hooks that you love and get a good neck light. That way you've solved your problem there. You don't need lighted crochet hooks especially not this set. The lighted crochet hook set is one of the worst crochet gadgets I have ever purchased in my entire life. And for that reason, it's getting one star. I wish I could give it zero stars. Hey, you know what? It's my YouTube video. I'm giving it zero stars. <laughs> now we get to move on to the crochet gadget wins. And the very first ones that we're going to be talking about are the Lion Brand Stress Relief Gloves. The Lion Brand Stress Relief Gloves promise to relieve pain without restricting movement. Someone in the YouTube comments recommended these gloves to me a few months ago. They're made of a tightly woven nylon spandex blend. They're made to keep your hands warm, enhancing blood flow and massaging muscles. They cost $12.95 for one pair. The positives are that the fabric is really light and stretchy. It feels really good on my hands and it allows for movement with no restrictions. These feel really, really nice. The only negative is that the fabric between the fingers feels really thin and I worry that it won't take very long if I wore these quite frequently for them to eventually begin to rip. I struggle a lot with pain and stiffness in my hands, so I'm really excited to work with these even more than I have already. If you've ever worn any kind of compression socks or any type of compression on your ankle or a wrist or anything, this is what these feel like and it just feels fantastic. The other thing to note is that I bought these in a size medium, but then when I looked at the little size chart on the back of the package, I measured my hand and I actually, I should have gotten a small size based on their size recommendation, but I actually think that that would have been too tight, so I'm glad I got these in a medium. I give the Lion Brand Stress Relief Gloves three and a half stars. The next crochet gadget win is the Clover Large Tassel Maker. This tool is for those of us who want to make, you guessed it, large tassels, but they also have one to make smaller tassels as well. The price is $11.84 and is made with very hard, durable plastic. The positives is that it is very easy 
easy to use once you know how to use it. I have found that any of the clover supplies that I have are always very high quality crafting material. The only negative is that the directions are so small and they seem very complicated. I really couldn't understand what they were trying to get me to do. So I ended up finding a YouTube video that was super helpful and demonstrated exactly how to use this tassel maker. And I will leave a link for it in the description box below. I love finding tools that make crafting simpler. And this is a fantastic one that will last for a very long time. I give the Clover Large Tassel Maker four stars. The next crochet gadget wind is the Oli Craft Wooden Blocking Board for Granny Squares. This is a blocking board specifically for granny squares. This is an eight inch square that is made from red oak with black walnut trim around the sides. The price is $49.96 for the eight inch blocking board and 54 inch pins. Here are the positives. This is a very high quality solid wood blocking board. The holes are half an inch apart, which is really nice when you have different sized granny squares. There's a total of 289 pin holes. And what's really great is that the back is lined with felt so it's not going to scratch up your counters or your table. The only con is that it came with this little stand which I found to be pretty unnecessary. I guess if you wanted to have it standing up that's kind of nice but really why would you need that? And I think that if they had eliminated that little feature, the price could have been cut down by a little bit. I'm actually really impressed with this blocking board. I didn't really think that I needed one for granny squares, but now that I've been playing around with this one, I actually think that this will take my granny squares to a whole new level. I've not really blocked a lot of granny squares before, but I can see why this would be really nice. What's great about blocking granny squares is that it really can take them from being pretty okay and they might have a little bit of imperfections to being really uniform and each one exactly the same size. I love that it's made from solid wood and this is going to last for a very long time. I'm giving the Oli Craft wooden blocking boards for granny squares four and a half stars. Next is the Homest Extra Large Yarn Storage Tote. I found this on Amazon and I was impressed by its 3,500 five-star reviews, but I had to test it for myself. The cost is $30.99. Here are the positives. The the tote is very large, but what's great about it is that it is tall rather than wide, so it doesn't take up much floor space. There are eight outer pockets and six inner pockets with tons of room in the center. You'll also find six large grommets for feeding your yarn through. Another great feature is that it has a drawstring top for closing. The tote is made from stiff fabric that keeps its shape nicely. So what are the negatives? Well, there actually aren't any. I I've been trying to think of one and the only thing that I wish is that it came in different fabric choices. Right now there's only three different options and they're fine but it would be fun if they had a lot of different choices. I'm giving this crochet gadget five stars. I hope you enjoyed this crochet gadget review and that it saved you a little bit of time and some money by not buying those crochet gadget flops. Don't forget to get your one month free trial of Skillshare. You'll find a link for it in the description box below. And I hope you all stay safe out there and happy stitching.